And this was, don't worry about good this folks, was, this was just a great game of footy. Certainly was. Uh, Nick Nat, and we spoke about is he the best ruckman in the competition. Josh Kennedy has kicked 11 goals in the last two weeks. 11 goals straight. You've got to say, you give it to the Cats. They were brilliant again yeah. last night. West Coast in the last quarter, they got the job done. But Geelong are right in this competition right now. They continue to play this. No Ablett, no Shellwood at the moment. Kelly was good again. And Nick Nat well was done. the one. It was a really good game of football. Nick Nat was the one. He got him Final going. stop football yeah, last night. I want to speak about that, Bill, because he's the most dynamic ruckman in the game. Is he the best? Well, Grundy's consistently been the best, and I'm happy for him to have that mantle. But what Nat Nui gives you is the opportunity to get back in any game because yep. the easiest way to score is from the centre bounce. So if you're winning this, and with the midfield that they've got, Kelly's now firing, Yo's been good for five weeks, Sheed's getting plenty of the footy, got Gaff on the outside, and then you've got this. So it's not the touches. There was only nine of them um, yeah. last night, but he had six score involvements, and the first use that he gives is like nothing else in the competition. So... I know Lordo's been big on Geelong's ruck, and, and we can speak about Geelong and just where they sit in terms of the finals race. They were so impressive, Geelong. Their defence held up so well, but when the ball goes back to the middle, as we're going to hear from Chris Scott shortly, Damo, Lordo, they've got Blixarves and Radagalia yeah. in the ruck, the Cats, and mm. I think you've said they can't win it with, with that ruck combination. Yeah, that's right. Can I just pick you up on what you just said then? That's the easiest way to score. Well, why can't Max Gorn and Melbourne score? Yeah. Because... He dominates like that, but why are West Coast so effective with Nat Nui's taps, yet gone? He wins them every week, smashes them week after week, but nothing comes from it. I think there's a selfishness about Melbourne's midfield where they want to be the guy the whole time. And I don't think I see that with the Eagles. They've got stars everywhere, but they know when it's their turn to get the hit out. They don't want it every time. They don't need it every time. They play their role. Right now, Melbourne's midfield is selfish, and everyone wants the footy. Whereas uh, I think the Eagles are much more well balanced and ready to take their turn. That's what they're kicking to as well, Lord. Are you mm -hmm. kicking to Kennedy, you're kicking to Darling, Oscar Allen, Waterman are playing pretty good football as well. Melbourne kicking to Wiedemann at the moment, or Bailey Fritch, who's 184 centimetres. So well, they're not the kicking cattle, it either. They're kicking yeah. it too. Mm. Terrible. And can you mention Chris Scott uh, glowing of Nick Nattanui? So too was his own coach, Adam Simpson. Yeah, Nick was special. Um, but we, we all know that, don't we? Nick's four more years been first class. You know, he's had a pretty good look at a pre-season and obviously with the disruptions we all went through, he's, he's got better every week. So, um, yeah, he delivered tonight, but he's been delivering for a long time. It's just uh, a fact when he's really on, um, no one in the competition, especially with the centre bounce rules, um, you know, well, well, I'm not saying you can't compete with him, but it's, yeah, we've just got great respect for the champion.